Welcome to OMSI 2 Quick Start, OMSI 2 Bus Simulator, and I'm going to show you how to quickly get on a bus and get it running. What we're going to do is say uh, load map without buses, and then change the date and time, and then click on day. What we do is we just want a, a day of the week, so uh, Tuesday's fine. If you have a... Uh, Saturday or Sunday, just change the day until it's Tuesday, uh, a day of the week. And then we'll go ahead and say OK and start and load it in. Now this dialog box will come up. It gives you different locations where your camera can, can place you at. And uh, it's just a camera view of a location on the route. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Just pick any for now and you'll see why in a moment. Then once OMSI loads, uh, your camera will be somewhere on the map. And there will be a number of AI buses, you see one running here, uh, that are already up, warmed up and running, and, and bus drivers doing the route. So uh, what I did was I clicked on the double arrow, the second first row of the menu, and the second icon. So actually I selected a fully beige bus no advertisement on it and so this is the AI driver but I'm bound to it now that I selected it in the menu it brings you into the external view and so we'll scroll around and see what the route it is it's route 130 destination Ruben. and what's nice about this now is uh, you press F1 and it takes you right into the driver's seat. Now, we're not driving a bus. The AI driver is still driving the bus. But uh, we can ride along with him and just uh, observe what he's doing. And now you can, uh, for a quick start, you can do this as, as long as you want. You can look around different views while you're in the driver's seat by pressing F2. And that puts you as a passenger. And you can run and run the whole route if you want as a passenger um, or you can pop back into the driver's seat and uh, observe what the AI uh, bus driver is doing so that's what we'll do for a little bit well I'll, I'll talk over uh, some of the nice things now pressing the insert key we can look at the route that we're on uh, I find it uh, difficult to read. Uh, now there is a way to uh, zoom in on that a little better, uh, but uh, we'll get into that later. Now what's wonderful about this uh, quick start method of jumping into a bus that's already being driven is uh, you don't need to know anything about the bus or how to start it up or warm it up or or any of the switches and the gauges uh, you're already going and uh, you can you can test out your your controller your wheel whatever it is you want to do or you could just ride along as we are right now and observe the route uh, from the bus driver's view um, and uh, get a feel for the game the simulator and uh, how it looks and, and what you're actually be doing at this point we uh, we can select uh, the CPU you just notice how the bus jumped that it is now under our control I took it over from the AI and now I am driving the bus with my Xbox 360 controller now I did that, the menu didn't come up, so I'm going to overlay it so you can see by the first row all the way to the right there's the bus icon with the CPU on it. You click on that and then it allows you to uh, take over the bus and it's pretty simple. It'll ask you yes or no if you really want to do it and I said yes. So now I'm, I'm taking over the bus. I'm also, I can continue on with this route as long as I want. Stopping up, stopping at the different uh, bus stops and picking up uh, passengers.
Hello. Hello. How are you? Then close the doors and see if this guy wants to get on. He's not in any hurry. He's going to go on with this afternoon stroll. So we'll go ahead and we'll close up these doors and release the station brake and head on down the road a little further. Now, the Xbox 360 controller, uh, there is a way to set it up in the OMSI um, settings. But I've done everything I can in the preferences and the settings to set up that controller. Uh, and it works. But it works terrible. And I've watched other videos where a couple of the guys said, oh yeah, if you want to use the controller, it works beautifully. And uh, that's not my experience. And I've watched many, many more uh, videos where they had the same experience with me with the Xbox controller. It just uh, not, does not do well. Uh, apparently, though, uh, I hadn't tried it myself. If you have a wheel, it does work well with a wheel. And if you even if you have a joystick, for some strange reason, if you have like a Sidewinder joystick, Logitech, or, uh, you can try that and it really works well with the joystick so you may be asking yourself well, it looks like you're driving okay now and you're using your Xbox controller yeah well I what I do is I uh, I found someone that was using one by setting it up with a, a third-party software um, like Xpatter uh, which is a you know a controller profiler and then with that third-party software you can set the keys and to your controller and let it do it instead of the OMSI options and so I tried that and it worked to some extent but it was still frustrating because basically I was I was driving the bus using the controller which was just for, you know uh, substituting for the uh, keyboard and you can actually do a pretty good job driving a bus using the keyboard but it is not really to me it's not enjoyable that way uh, it, it's a pretty good job but it's not a good job <laughs> you know it's just not uh, not the smoothness that you're seeing here so how did I do it I I end up setting the controller I'm using pinnacle um, to uh, mimic the mouse. Now, OMSI has uh, a preference where you can control the bus using the mouse. You ought to try it, even if you have a controller, and it's kind of nice how well it works with the mouse, but even still, who wants to drive a bus with their mouse? So, what I did was I used the profiler to, to uh, set the Xbox 360 controller to to mouse settings and uh, that that's a topic actually for another video because uh, if you're if you're interested in, in doing this uh, there's a little bit of detail that goes into that so here we are we're driving the bus now we're driving the route and uh, I know little to nothing or you know I expect that if you just got arms and you want to just get up and try it they have a tutorial, um, but it it is so cumbersome. Well, I don't know. It's it's the tutorial to me was was tiresome, not cumbersome, but tiresome. It was a lot of reading, and and I didn't really get much out of it. Maybe it's just me, uh, but I if you like me and you just want to jump in and see how it runs, uh, this is what you can do. Uh, of course, you're going to need a lot more instruction, and I plan on making a few more videos uh, to give you the, the more detailed instruction, but everybody just wants to see. Just let me see how it goes, and this is how you can get in and start playing right away. Hello. Once you know you have a controller that works the bus, uh, you can get in and, and take over the AI and start driving the bus like this and not, and not really know much. 
So well, hopefully you enjoyed this quick start and uh, how to do that. And uh, I'll come back and, and get you another video on uh, creating a bus using the menus using the um, the IBIS um, route system setting up the bus for your destination to be displayed on the outside and uh, I'll go through all that stuff but for now I just enjoy uh, driving around getting used to your steering and your braking the brakes are a little bit funny um, they're not funny it's just a particular type of brake uh, when you as soon as you tap the brake pedal it'll you don't have to squeeze it anymore or press down it any harder it'll automatically continue the brake and slow you down and that's really the way you can stop without uh, a hard stop that jerks Hello. everybody forward Hello. and they all start complaining Hello. Uh, but it's, it takes a little bit of time to get used to that And to release the brake, uh, you don't have to hit a brake release. All you act actually have to do is hit the gas pedal, and that will release the brake. And then you can drive on. I'm looking for the next bus stop. But uh, that little yellow light that just came on the dash... That means a passenger wants to get off at the very next bus stop. Now, whether it's a, a bus stop that's on your route or not, it doesn't make a difference. The, they just want to get off as, uh, well, they could be tired of my jerky driving and, and just want to get out. <laughs> Funny thing is sometimes if you, if you hit a curb or you, you hit the brake too hard and you scare your passengers, that light will come on and they'll all just get off the bus. Sometimes you're glad to see them go because they're complaining so much. But uh, we'll stop here and and let them out. We'll go to the outside view, and I gotta since I'm using the mouse to drive the bus with the Xbox control, I gotta switch over. Uh, you can see the back doors open. <laughs> the AI passenger kind of just spawned and I mean got off the bus and disappeared. Uh, but the front doors, I open them up. If nobody's trying to get on the bus, you can just hit the station brake and the back doors will open up automatically. I've watched a lot of videos telling you how to push particular uh, dashboard switches to get the back doors to open. There's no need for that. They open automatically. If the yellow light's on, they will open automatically and, and, and that passenger can get off. And you don't even have to open the front doors if you don't have anybody that's trying to get on. Now, uh, what you do have to do is, if nobody wants to get off, but you want to open up the back doors yourself uh, for some reason, then you have to hit that switch. But I, there isn't really many reasons for you to want to open it up. Uh, unless it's a hot summer day and you just want to ear out the bus. But here, we got another passenger that wants to uh, get off. So we we'll let him off and uh, probably end the video after this and come back uh, later so you can, a uh, uh, second part, you can watch me continue driving this route for a little while longer. But it takes a little bit of time. I quite, haven't quite got used to these brakes yet. But that was pretty nice. A lot of times I can get a, I can either get a nice stop like this, but I'm not anywhere near where the passengers are, and they have to walk. Well, wait a minute now, where would those two come from? I may have to open the door. They kind of just spawned out of nowhere. Let's see if they want to get on. They want to get on. That's pretty funny. Yeah, uh, yeah. That time I did good, but sometimes uh. I'll, I'll do a nice job braking, but the, it won't be anywhere near where the passenger is, and I have to walk. Ooh, I clipped the curb. And here the the uh, arrows are telling me to turn right. So make a wide turn to make that right hand turn. The other times where I I try to hit it right where the passengers are, so they don't have to walk, and I hit the brake too hard, and everybody gets upset. But. Uh, 
That that will help you out hopefully to get you get you through the menu and get you started up and running and driving pretty quickly. Uh, once you know your controller or your wheel or your joystick is gonna is gonna take it, or you can just try using the mouse to learn the system for a while. All right, and until next time, have a great day.